thank you once again for joining us on our Sunday morning service today. And we pray that God has bless you through another week and that he continue to bless you and keep you. We thank God for our listening audience. Amen. And how you have uh, devoted your time to this telecast. At this time, we're going to speak on contrary winds. All of us go through contrary winds in life. Things will always happen. There are always going to be some ups and downs. The Gospel according to St. Matthew 14th chapter, the 22nd through the 24th verses, we find these words. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side of the lake. While he sent the mother to the way, and when he had sent the mother to the way, he went up into a mountain to pray. And then the evening was come, he was there alone. In this particular verse, we find that Jesus, as he dismissed the crowd, Jesus had recently grieved his cousin, John the Baptist, who head had been cut off. Amen. And he was there in a desert place. And there we find that as Jesus went there to grieve and to uh, uh, seek comfort and, and dialogue with his father because of John's death. Amen. We find that uh, he began... Uh, sat down by the wayside and there he noticed the crowd had followed him. People was always following Jesus. I mean, this man, this man who could heal the sick and the man who was capable of raising the dead, they always sought him and listened to his uh, dialogue as he spoke to them by the wayside. And he find that there he was uh, by himself. Disciples had distanced themselves and and there he was, sitting there. And as he told his disciples, amen, that uh, 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 the crowd had gathered around. And he noticed, man, as the crowd gathered around him in all his grief and all his moaning, amen, he had compassion on the crowd. And that's one thing about our Lord. He always has compassion regardless of what you've done, where you are. Amen. He's a compassion God. And he's willing, amen, to meet the needs. And there the people had assembled around him, amen, for prayer. There were some that were sick in their body. Uh, there were some, amen, that was blind, maimed, heart, withered, and leprous. They were all gathered around him, and he healed them all. But we find that as his disciples, amen, uh, began to talk to him and say, well, you know, it's getting evening time now and it's getting late in the evening. Why don't we dismiss the crowd, amen, and uh, let them go into the villages that they may find food to eat. And Jesus said, no, feed them. Jesus never sent the crowd away without meeting their every need. You see, uh, the Lord is concerned about our welfare as well as our spiritual needs. And so as he uh, Begin to talk to the disciples, feed them. And then uh, Andrew said, well, I've been mingling with the crowd, amen. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, we don't have enough money to feed all these folks, 5,000 men, not to mention the women and the children. We don't have sufficient funds in our treasury to feed all these folks. Another disciple came up to him and said, well, as I mingled in the crowd, I found one. A little boy, he have two fish and five barley loaves. But what is this, master, among so many? Jesus began to say, bring it to me. You see, a little bit in the Lord's hand, amen, can go a long way. A lot of times we just need to turn things over to the Lord and let the Lord work it out. Many times we have situations, we have problems that we can't handle what we need to do is turn it over to the Lord. For the songs had declared to take your burdens to the Lord and what? And just leave them there. And so there we find that uh, he's willing to prevent you from where you are and where you want to go. Amen. Contrary winds. Contrary winds will stop you and block you. Amen. From where 
you want to go. Contrary winds will cause you to be like a roller coaster. You're sometimes up and sometimes down. Sometimes you're going to and fro. These disciples, as they mounted the boat, as Jesus had constrained them uh, to get in the boat and go on the other side of the lake. And while they was on the lake, the record is that a storm arose and they ran into some contrary winds. And uh, it amazes how that on this Christian journey, oftentimes we run into contrary winds. Uh, sometimes we are in the will of God. Sometimes we're doing exactly what God told us to do. But in spite of this, we'll go through some contrary winds. Things does not always work out the way we want them to work out. But God has a plan in all our lives. And Jesus will work it out. Jesus will fix it and he will work it out. If we just hold on to him and have our trust in God. He sees us. The Lord sees us. The record is that he, he sees the little sparrow when he falls. And every hair that is upon our head, they're already numbered. Find that there are so many uh, in the Bible that had gone through contrary winds. And I look at Joseph, the favorite son of Jacob. And man, this young man he went through some contrary winds. And man, the wind was blowing in his life. The record is that his brothers, those that had lived with him and had dwelled with him, uh, they were jealous and they put Joseph down in a pit. Amen. But the record is that the Lord was with him. Amen. They slowed and sold him into slavery. Amen. But the Bible say that the Lord was with him. Amen. Potiphar's wife, she lied on him. Uh, but the Lord was with him. Amen. He was put in prison unjustly, but the Lord was with him. Amen. And I thank God, amen, that the Lord is always near and by our side. Uh, he declared his word that, lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. And we find that uh, Joseph interpreted the dream of Potiphar. Amen. And there he was promoted to second uh, in the kingdom of all uh, Egypt. But God was always with him and by his side, even though he went through some contrary winds. Amen. But the Lord was right by his side. Come here, Moses. Look at here. I'm doing what God told me to do. Man, we know how that he was put out of Egypt for 40 years as he was uh, second in command down in Egypt. And man, he was put down in the desert. Amen. And as we know how that he went on the backside of the mountain. And the Lord spoke to him, God, Jehovah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And as he approached the burning bush, he heard a voice say, Moses, take off your shoes. For the ground that you're standing on is holy ground. Amen. Moses, what I want you to do, I have heard the cry of my people down in Egypt land. And I want you to go down to Egypt and tell Pharaoh, amen, to let my people go. Amen. And nine times he went down to Egypt land. And every time he would tell Pharaoh what thus said the Lord. Amen. But God had hardened Pharaoh's heart. You know, in my imagination, I could feel that Moses became disheartened. The first time I told him about the frogs, amen, and I thought that God would alleviate his people. But yet and still, Pharaoh refused to let God's people go. I told him about the lice and the balls, amen, and how that uh, the hell storm would come down from heaven. But God would not let uh, his people go. Pharaoh would not let the Lord's people go. Amen. But we find on that tenth plague, amen, God sent it down in Egypt land, amen, and all the firstborn in Egypt land that did not have the blood on the doorpost, amen, they was put to death. Amen. God is an answering God. And God alleviated all the uh, Israelitic people from the land of Egypt. And not only that, even Paul and Silas. <laughs> Thank be to God. Huh? They were doing just what God told them to do. They were on their commission, amen, for the king. Uh, they went down to Philippi, down in Macedonia, and there was a girl that had an evil spirit. And they prayed for him and how that they were, he were, they were alleviated from that evil spirit. 
and how that thumb, the winds, the contrary winds begin to blow because the people of that land said that they disturbed the whole town. Amen. They were brought in to the majesty. Uh, their clothes were torn off. Amen. Their bodies were beat with many stripes. And they were thrown in prison and they were put in shackles. Amen. The contrary with winds were blowing. Uh -huh. But the record is at midnight. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. Paul began to pray. Amen. And so he began, amen, to sing a little song. Uh -huh. Must Jesus bear the cross alone uh -huh. and all this world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone, and there's a cross for me. I'm not for sure what song they sing, but they sing praises unto God. And I say unto you today, when you go through storm and contrary winds, you need to pray and let the Lord have his way. And when you're doing the will of the Lord, contrary winds will come. Jesus, his disciples, they were doing what God had told them to do. Jesus commanded they get in the ship uh, and go on the other side. Uh, but the winds start blowing. Uh, the lightning start flashing. Uh, the storm begin to growl uh, while they was on that boat. Uh, but Jesus could see them uh, while they tossed and turned in the boat. Uh, but thank you to God uh, that he's always watching. Uh, he said, Lo, I'm with you always. I'm glad that the Lord, he has his eyes on me uh, every day and every night uh, when I lay down, uh, even when I don't know myself, uh, he's omnipresent uh, as the winds begin to blow. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, the lightning begin to flash. Uh, the billows begin to roll uh, and waves begin to dash. Uh, but Jesus, uh, they saw what they were going through. Uh, I say to you today, uh, my brothers and sisters, you're going to go through something in life, uh, the things in life that you must go through. Uh, but Jesus, uh, Jesus, uh, the very hope of glory, uh, he'll fix it after a while. Uh, it was the fourth watch of the night. Uh, I heard the song say, uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, at midnight, uh, in the darkest hour, uh, I lift my hand uh, and praise the Lord. Uh, there they were on the ship. Uh, uh, they didn't have no map. Uh, they didn't have no GPS. Uh, they didn't have no compass. Uh, nobody had a cell phone. Uh, there was no light to guide them to the shore. Uh, uh, there was no coast guard to rescue them. Uh, and not only that, uh, they didn't have a lifeboat, uh, nor life jacket uh, that required, uh, uh, but they were just tossed to and fro. Uh, uh, when you are doing what God told you to do, uh, uh, Sometime uh, it will get rough uh, and it will be tough, uh, but I'm glad uh, that we can hold on uh, and hold out uh, to God's unchanging hands. He, he said, Lord, I'm with you uh, even to the end of the world. Uh, I'll be with you uh, in dark time. Uh, I'll be with you in the midnight hour. Uh, I'll always be by your side. Uh, these 12 men, uh, they were following the master's instruction uh, and ran to these contrary winds. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, but Jesus, uh, uh, who is concerned about us, uh, when his life, uh, uh, disciples looked around uh, uh, and they saw uh, uh, there was Jesus. Uh, he was walking uh, uh, on the water. Uh, uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, uh, they thought they saw a spirit uh, uh, and they uh, uh, were so afraid. Uh, uh, Jesus, the very hope of glory, he was walking on the water towards them. They thought they saw a ghost as a family in the night. But Jesus, it was Jesus, Mary's baby, the son of the living God. And I heard him say, in all the calamity that they were in, be uh, of good cheer. Uh, and I can hear those words uh, every now and then uh, when I'm going through difficult. Uh, I can hear him say, uh, be uh, of good cheer. Uh, in other words, rejoice uh, and give glory uh, unto the God of our salvation. Uh, be of good cheer, uh, for it is I. The Lord is always with us uh, and right by our side. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, 
be uh, of good cheer. Uh, and what I'm saying to our society today, uh, and what I'm saying to the nation today, uh, we need to be of good cheer uh, and continue to praise God uh, and give God the glory, because uh, he will fix it uh, after a while. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, and then I heard Peter say, uh, that rock, uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, Lord, uh, if it be you, uh, bid me to come to you. Uh, Lord, if that's you, uh, I want to be with you. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, Jesus came uh, that we might have life uh, and life more abundant. Uh, Lord, uh, if it's you, bid me to come unto you. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, he said, uh, come uh, Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and every now and then, uh, when I think of what Jesus said, uh, he said, come. Uh, glory, hallelujah. Uh, Peter, uh, not only Peter, uh, but all the disciples, uh, you can come. Uh, he didn't say, come, Peter, uh, but he said, come. Uh, but Peter was the only one uh, that got out the boat. Uh, Peter, uh, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, it seems as though uh, that this boat is going to sink uh, and we're going to perish. Uh, but I'd rather uh, be, be in the hands of the Lord uh, than in a sinking boat. Uh, but Brother Peter, uh, you got your brother Andrew. Uh, I'm going to leave Andrew. Uh, you got your good friends James and John. Uh, I'm leaving them too. Uh, and I'm going uh, to be with the Lord. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, I believe uh, that we ought to uh, make up our mind. Uh, if my father don't go, uh, I'm going. Uh, if my sister don't go, uh, I'm going. Uh, if my cousin don't go, uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, I'm going on uh, in the house uh, to be with the Lord. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and when he got out the boat, uh, he began to walk uh, to Jesus. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and then he began to say, uh, as he took his eyes off of Jesus, uh, the record is he began to sink down in the water. But he cried out, Lord, save me. He didn't have time, amen, to call on Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. He simply said, Lord, save me. And Jesus stretched out his hand uh, and lifted him up, uh, took Brother Peter, uh, put him back in the boat, uh, and Jesus climbed in the boat. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and when Jesus got in the boat, uh, thank you, Lord Jesus, uh, the record is uh, that the wind ceased. Uh, you see, the wind was a problem. Uh, it caused the billows to roll. Uh, the wind uh, caused the lightning to flash. Uh, the wind, uh, it was causing the thunder to roll. Uh, but when Jesus uh, got on board, uh, this wind ceased uh, and everything got calm. Uh, you see, Peter, uh, the reason he got out the boat, uh, he thought uh, that Jesus would do what he did the last time. Uh, say, peace be still. Uh, but God don't work uh, the same way every time uh, in our lives. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. The record is that as he got in the boat, and the disciples looked at one another said, truly, thou art the Son of God. And the wind stopped blowing. I say to you today, and man, you might have difficulty in your life, and may you have trials and tribulations, but the wind will blow. Things will happen. In our nation today, the wind is blowing. Contrary, contrary to our lifestyle, contrary to the things that our normative here in the world. Amen. The wind is blowing. Amen. But we need to look to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. For in him we live, move, and have our being. May God bless you. As we look unto the Lord, amen, he's able to keep us from falling. When things happen, amen, we are, he's able, amen, prevent us from falling. In my conclusion, I'm reminded how this, this, these young men in China, they went swimming, and one of them was an Olympic swimmer. And they, they dived in the river. And while they were swimming, one of them, a man, uh, he uh, began to get weak, and he began to drown. But 
The Olympic swimmer was sitting there on the rock watching the other swimmers as they swim around. And his buddies called to him and he cried out, save him. They knew that he could swim and that he was a great swimmer. And he just sat there. And they cried out, save him. And as he went down for the last time, that Chinese swimmer dived over in the water, scooped him up, brought him to the shore. And the, the friends, they was uh, upset in the surf. Why didn't you save him? He said, well, he was struggling so. Amen. And he was going so. Amen. That if I had got down at the first uh, the time that he began to drown, amen, he would have drowned both of us, amen. But I waited until he got weak and that he couldn't struggle no more, amen. And that's how the Lord does for us sometimes. He allows contrary winds to come into our lives. And then we get weak and we don't have any other source. We had to look unto Jesus, amen. And Jesus will fix it after a while, amen. You find the song is said I was sinking deep in sin and that I was drifting far from the peaceful shore. I was very deeply stained within. I mean, I was sinking to rise no more. But, thank God for the but, the master of the sea, he heard my despairing cry and from the waters he lifted me. Now safe am I. I thank God for the his hand of mercy that reaches out and he will save you. Just ask the Savior to help you. He'll step right in, right in the nick of time. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. You that don't know Christ, haven't received Christ, it's all right to go to church. Amen. It's all right to support churches. Amen. It's all right. Amen. Amen. To fellowship. Amen. With one another. Amen. But you need to know Christ and have Christ in your life. This is the day, this is the hour. Amen. The day that you hear his voice, harder, not your heart. Many of you have been convicted. Many of you, amen, uh, your minds are troubled and you're trying to work things out. Amen. But let Jesus fix it. He'll work out things. All right. Men are struggling. You have difficulties in your life. You need to take it to Jesus and Leave it there. Will you pray it after me? Father, I thank you for this opportunity to receive you in my life. Lord, I ask you to save my soul. Deliver me. When I realize that I'm nothing but a sinner, but because of your grace and mercy, you will save. And Lord, come into my life. Forgive me for everything that I've done wrong. In Jesus' name, amen. If you repeated that today, amen, the very God of peace will come into your life. Amen. And start laying aside those things that you know are wrong. Lay aside the weight and the sin that so easily beset you. And the very God of peace will become a reality in your life. This is the time now. Amen. People are leaving here every moment every hour, every day, every week. So it's time now to get right with the Lord. We're here for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, maybe 80 years if God be merciful for us. Amen. But we have to spend eternity somewhere. You're going to heaven or eternal damnation. So you need to get right with the Lord and do it now. Here we at UPHC in James City, New Bern, North Carolina. Amen. We ask that you join us in our covenant prayer, Psalm 91 daily. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Until we see you next week. UPHC church family and friends, your tithes and offerings and also donations can be sent by way of cash app, PayPal, payment methods, or in the description. We are so very glad that you join us today. We pray that you are blessed with that powerful word coming from our pastor, Bishop Wallace Grimes. Join us every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube. 
folks without homes out in the streets and the drug habit some say they just can't be muggers and robbers no place seems to be safe but it could be in my protection every As viewed here today, McAfee Tech is here for all your technical needs. Please contact us at 252-349-0180.